Hi and thanks for watching. Today I'm going to demonstrate how you can install our uh, free GUI for Hyper-V Core 2012, 2012 R2, and 2016. You can download uh, the entire compilation and installation uh, in the uh, description below. Once you've downloaded it, simply extract the uh, directory to a location accessible on your Hyper-V Core machine and run the setup. In my case, it's in the Startup 2 folder. I'm going to run the setup, to setup command. Firefox is the first freeware installation that we installed. Of course, it's very useful. Basically, we're going to use a standard installation. Uh, do not want to launch Firefox now once it's finished. WinRAR, ensure all uh, options are checkmarked. Do you want to install a Visual Basic Runtime? This is the updated version. Most of the uh, free apps will just run the uh, basic install. Uh, the display changer, you'll want to select the 64 bit version. Free calculator software and standard installation. You do not want to launch the calculator right now. A Hyper V manager, we do want to remove all four check marks here on the screen. So don't want to start a startup and trying to put uh, icons on a desktop that don't exist. This is the remote desktop client. So you can actually remote desktop into the VMs if you wish. Uh, no, we haven't got any published right now, so we're going to say no to that. Uh, we do not want to add a, a connection right now. You can add your own connections later. I'm going to go ahead and bring it exit it. Now we don't want to launch the 2x client. Finally, the defragmentation tools are going to load up and install. This has some bloatware. We're going to skip the bloatware installation. Uh, it's going to cause us to have a few error messages because we skipped the bloatware, but we also want to remove these check marks. You don't want to install the ad block in the advanced system here. Stuff that they have it doesn't work very well. Uh, so we're going to have to just close all the error messages that come up because of this. And uh, our graphical user interface will load. The system explorer comes up first, you can close that. And right now I'm just going to go through and close all these windows and the lovely error messages that come up because of the defragger and close all the tools. So this is, we're now at the graphical user interface um, that we provided. And this will come up automatically when you start the machine. There is a start menu you can click on the upper left hand corner. Uh, just like Windows, you can right click and delete shortcuts if you want to get rid of them. Uh, there's a file explorer. <coughs> you have the option to keep the uh, start menu on top or below. If you click it on start, you'll see that it allows you on top. Uh, there's a recycle bin that you can empty the trash. Uh, feel free to, free to play around and enjoy. It's a helpful tool for us uh, in managing iHarpV machines, and I hope uh, it's a tool for you as well. We do not support this tool. Uh, it is not supported, it is not developed, it is, a, as I said, a freeware compilation of tools that uh, I found very helpful and I hope you find them helpful as well.